Hello, this is Ken Green here. Uh, you know what? This morning, I pulled up the business plan that we had when we started our professional accounting firm. And this is the plan I've never read after we submitted it in 2012 until today. And, and it's interesting because this is what we do as business people. We build a plan, we take it to the bank, we get financing, and then we put the plan on the shelf. So that's why I tell you, well, do we need a business plan? Yes, we do. But we actually need a plan that gives us a framework that will guide us in our business. And we don't need a plan that sits on the shelf. You actually don't need a plan that sits on the shelf. In fact, let me show you the plan that we created uh, so that I can drive this point home. Uh, as some of you know, when we started, we were Green, Michael, and Smith, uh, Chartered Professional Accountants, uh, but later we changed our name to GMS Professional Corporation. And it's interesting because uh, this is the first time I'm reading this business plan after we handed it to the bank in 2012, I believe. Um, so it's, it's kind of interesting because we put together this business plan, but we never followed it. And so you see the date there, October 2012, we had executive summary. We had all the services that we provided, some of which we still provide. Um, and it goes on and on, bookkeeping services, technology. It talks about markets and target segments. Um, so this is just a bunch of stuff. So it says we're going to focus on professionals, which we do. Uh, startup businesses, which we do, established. So it talks about all these different focus areas, which is... Uh, which is okay, but starting out, it, it was a mistake. Uh, we should have just focused on a particular niche. And it goes on to talk about strategies. Um, so these are really not the strategies you need when you're starting out in business. And it goes on and talks about market need. So this one is interesting because here we talked about our projected sales. Uh, so $128,000 in 2013. 2013, we were still, I was just looking at our financials. In 2013, we were below $50,000. Um, 2017, we didn't get to 300 in 2017. Uh, 2017 was the first time we actually crossed 200 k in annual revenue. So th this plan, we actually did not follow. That's probably the reason why um, I never read it. So we took it to the bank because that was what the bank needed. And we got what we wanted from the bank. And since then, we never came back to this. Um, so this is why business plan on its own is not sufficient. All right. So that's why I invite you to join us next week so that we can help you build a plan that will give you a framework to succeed in business, a plan that you actually read, a plan that will guide you. So join us next week. I invite you to, to sign up and register. So go to blackbusinessnetwork.ca forward slash training. And that link may be somewhere here. But again, I invite you to join us. Go to blackbusinessnetwork.ca forward slash training. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.